So we're here at the Great Passion Play uh, down in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. My hair's blowing already. <laughs> and wanted to give you a little glimpse of this rather unique tourist stop here. So Eureka Springs features a number of neat little things. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the town at the end of the video. Uh, but this right here, the Great Passion Play, is an interesting stop. It's been here since the 60s. And a number of different things. You've got a show, you've got museums, you've got stores, uh, walkthroughs, and other stuff. So I wanted to give you a brief little glimpse here. You can see the people working. Um, so over here, they've actually got the entrance to what they call a walkthrough Holy Land experience. You can see the chapel and the wall. What's really neat is they actually have a simulated tabernacle down there. So you can actually walk around this, I think it's half size, of what the original tabernacle like, which inspired the Jewish temple. You've got the museum, gift shop, and administration there. Uh, the entrance roads up that direction. Uh, they also offer a buffet uh, for dinner and other things. And then if you swing around here, this is the main gift shop right there. And then up here you've got a free art museum. And then this is where you buy tickets to the play. It's a big outdoor play uh, that uh, depicts the life of Jesus. It's really kind of a neat little deal. They've got animals in it and other stuff. There's a petting zoo around here. And we'll see what else we can show you. So this is the Christ of the Ozarks. Uh, he does have a face on the other side. <laughs> and he's also been called the Milk Carden Jesus. Because when you look at him from the sides, he's got kind of a square shape. Um, but it's a nice little area here up the top. You've got a gazebo down there. And a little prayer garden. And a scenic view. So if you come up to the sign, it gives you a number of different facts about it. Uh, that was built, dedicated in 1966. And how it was built. And there's also some nice little brochures right there. Brochures? Ooh, I don't know anybody who wants brochures. And there's a view of the front. Yeah, it looks like he might need a little cleaning up there. <laughs> but kind of a neat landmark here at the Great Passion Play. And definitely one of the things it's known for in addition to the play. Down here at the base of the uh, Christ of the Ozark statue, there are a couple restrooms. And there's a small little snack gift shop. That is not the main gift shop. It's not where you want to really shop, but if you need a quick drink... And then over here to the right, you've got this nice little chapel. And they've actually got a couple cool things there. You've got a couple pieces of the Berlin Wall. And then if you can see that little white deal right there, that is actually a bomb shelter from Israel. Of course, we've seen one of those up close and personal when we were there, but, but a nice little spot to stop. So our first stop is going to be the Sacred Art Center. I don't know that I can film inside, but if you love art, then you'll really appreciate this because it is free. Oh, by the way, uh, parking was also free. So just something to keep in mind. The show and the walkthrough do cost money, but most of the rest is actually uh, donation basis or free. Their Bible museum and bookstore it has this amazing collection. They have Gutenberg Bibles, uh, old Bibles, uh, some ancient pages and inserts. It's really neat to walk through and see some of the collection that they have here. It's actually a very impressive collection uh, and a number of rather unique items historical pieces, uh, some archeological pieces as well. There's these amazing pictures, which are actually full Bible verses printed out in picture form. And then lots of uh, other really neat things. Take some time, walk around the Bible Museum. It's included with admission to all the other stuff. The arch and wall that they have here is actually modeled after an ancient 
wall. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one. I'll let you look it up. But it's really kind of a neat entrance to their shows, the uh, village, the petting zoo, and their Holy Land tour that they have here as well. Some of the shows. David the Shepherd and Parables, the potter, we've both seen both. Those are really neat. You can see. So the tour itself doesn't start till down there. Because this right over here is where they do the shows. Which they won't do that till tonight. But this they've definitely developed a whole lot more since we were here last. So it definitely gives it a little bit more of a village feel. And then if you decide you want to do the Holy Land tour, it is actually down the hill there. You can see the person at the booth waiting to take the ticket. I love it how they've developed this so much more though. Oh, and several of the booths too also have things you can buy in them, which is really neat. So here is your petting zoo. And you can see it's also free. So it, it's really neat how many free things there are around here. That's Buddy. I'm sorry, Buddy. No food. Yes, you want some food. <laughs> you can go inside if you want. We're open today. You see, they've got doves. You got somebody hoping they got food. I'm sorry. No food. <laughs> I don't have any cash for you, or I would. I know. It's like, what kind, What good am I if I don't got nothing? I love that they've got doves there. And some ducks. This is neat. So there's a little look at the Great Passion Play here in Eureka Springs. Uh, lots of free things to do. There is the play itself. Uh, there's their Holy Land Tour, which is a walkthrough. Those two things cost money. Everything else is free to walk in and look at. Uh, so there's a lot here you can see and do that won't cost you a penny. Unless you spend at the gift shop or have a truck that needs a muffler. <laughs> but, um, and as yes, as you can see, we did spend a little bit here. So we did spend some to support the free stuff. Uh, but kind of a neat stop, but there's also a lot more to see and do in Eureka Springs, so we're going to head over and do some of that. So, other stop here around Eureka Springs is the Onyx Cave. And you can see it is uh, well wooded around here. A little bit of an interesting drive. And they've got several things to do here. So, let's go check it out. One of the things they offer here, kind of a new fad, is the Smash Room. Yes, you can pay money to break things. Okay, let's keep walking. It's a walk down. Uh, you can see there is axe throwing as well. Done that a couple times in Branson. I think we found a boss. Yep. Um, so I want to talk to you about the prices. Hello? <laughs> I guess they're not taking complaints right now. Okay, well, maybe this is the one in charge then. So, um, <laughs> can you tell me what kind of specials you offer right now? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so this is a audio tour with headphones. It's all pre-recorded, which means you can kind of set your own pace. You start off going downstairs, and then we will let you see the rest of the cave, and definitely some spots to watch your head. Nice, cool, 57 degrees. So first stop, wait for the recording. Give you a little idea. And I like this because it sets your own pace, which is nice. Let me give you a little idea what it looks like behind me as well. And that's your stairway. There's your wishing well. It's kind of cool. So as we go through, it is a one-way in, one-way out cave. And as you go along, there's different signs that let you know when to stop and listen to the recording. And this is actually really cool. Here, let me flip this around so you can see what we're looking at here. And look at this. 
It's pretty. So this is our one low spot. Oh, this is called a box work. And it's pretty unique. So what I definitely like with this is it's an easy pace. Uh, you can see the beautiful curtain formation right there. So there's some neat things. This is very informative. And yeah, this is nice. There are a couple of really neat formations here. One of the things they talk about is that there's an elephant in every cave. Can you see the elephant? That's its back. And its head with its trunk coming down. And of course, our friendly little dragon, as they call him. <laughs> so this is the very end of the tunnel uh, that you come in. There's more caverns, but you can't get to them because they're too small. Really a nice um, audio tour. Very explanatory. It's not a huge cave. Um, it probably took us, what, 30 minutes? Maybe yeah. 20 yeah. to get to the end. Now we have to walk back. Uh, so it's one way in, one way out. But love the explanations on the audio tour. That's actually really well done. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is nice. It's currently $12 a person to get in. Prices, of course, will change. Check the website. Uh, but no, this is a neat stop. Oh, and uh, we are going to do a little bit of uh, sifting soil for some gemstones, too. Mm. Margaret's a pro at that. She used to do it so Dollar mm. City all the time. <laughs> now, the gift shop over here has a, quite a variety of stuff. Yes, you've got your usual shirts and magnets and uh, some gemstones. Uh, your typical souvenir stuff that you can find at many of these shops. they got some amazing looking geodes and other things. I, I love this. That's just cool. Get your picture with this butterfly shaped geode. <laughs> oh yeah. Then if you like fossils, look at these fossils. This, this is cool. My son would just be like in hog heaven right now with this stuff. <laughs> but a uh, number of different ones here uh, from different places. Uh, they actually told me that they pick up a lot of these from Morocco. So if you want to do the sifting for gemstones, you've got several different ones. Look how big that Mega Strike bag is. <laughs> but we are going to do the Emerald Strike and head on out and see what we can pull up. And probably give this to my son. You're familiar with the process, you just pour a little in, shake it out. Right. So this bag will help you identify what comes out. Yeah. Or just card wrap. The bag yeah. put the goodies in yeah. when you're done. Yeah. And you can shift around to wherever you want. Well, whatever you do, don't drink the water. Doesn't that look pretty? So what they give you is a card to help identify everything and a bag to put it in. Go ahead and pour them in. Don't do the whole bag at once, just a little bit. We'll let the expert demonstrate. First little amount. The first little bit? Yes. And hey, we got some blue stuff and some red stuff and some, looks like fool's gold. Some quartz stuff. A little stuff. bit of quartz. I'm not yeah. sure what the blue is. I think, I want to say that is Jasper. That is, they say that is uh, lab, Labradorite. Okay, so let's see here. Labradorite. Canarian. Sodalite. So one thing to be aware of, this isn't ours. Look at all the stuff they left. There's freebies. Ooh. Okay, so we dump it out. We dump sand up. Okay, anyways. Swish it around. This is a little similar to the Temple Mount in some ways. Yeah. Now, see, I got big stuff. Because I'm oh, better than you. Yeah. And you know it. For sure, whatever. <laughs> so a big piece of quartz. That's another piece of quartz. Pretty. I'm not sure what that one is. That looks almost like chert or limestone. Let's see. Local stuff. 
that is could be um, yeah maybe calcite yeah mm. so we got several things here okay, so pretty, that will be your emerald green they were talking yeah. about yeah you you've got much more fortunate uh, situation well, course, there I already said <laughs> oh you want to say it again for the camera what, that I'm better than you and you know it oh wow that's something okay so our last little bit Margaret is doing her old job from Silver Dollar City and trying to clean up. You can see her last little bit that she just did. A couple more interesting things in there. That's mm -hmm. Crystal and that one. Also be... so, I just need to know more about the adventure. So what we end up with is what's in there. Mm -hmm. And about that. And it was 16... I think something like that. For a discount. So it's definitely fun though. That was a lot of fun. It's a nice little bag of gems. We'll pull them back out. We'll look at them more closely later uh, to see if we can't fully identify them. But a nice little stop. Um, I think we were here for about an hour and a half or so oh. and had some fun. Very wife, fun. so wife enjoyed it. That's oh. good. 57 degrees year round, so it's great on a day that's almost 100 degrees outside. So, and um, yeah, the boss here still not cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> so that's onyx cave so if you are in the eureka springs area definitely worth the stop to come check out and like i said they do have a couple other things here as well one of the other places to see especially if you're in architecture around here is thorn crown chapel and a nice little walk into the woods but the architecture in this building is amazing it's also a wonderful place to just come and sit and meditate, pray, relax for a few minutes as well. Kind of away from everything. Give you a little look. I am not going to film inside because there are people that pray here and want to give them their solitude, but just a very neat looking building. And of course, Eureka Springs is probably best known for its shopping and the actual springs. The springs over the course of time have been considered to have medicinal and healing properties. Uh, they've sold spring water. People have come here to travel to drink and sit in springs and get healing and stuff like that. But they also have this really unique shopping district too. There's a lot of neat stores here you will find some uh, definitely some interesting stores <laughs> to say the least uh, but there is something for everyone here in eureka springs uh, the gardens are pretty and typically mark the entrances of some of the springs the basin park is actually around the entrance of one of the springs and uh, lots of ice cream and uh, restaurants and good food and just a lot to be able to see so of course if you come to Eureka Springs yes you've got the great passion play in the cave and there are a number of other things around as well the natural arches state park is really cool but of course there's the shopping and you've got to go in and at least take a day and walk the streets and browse the shops and see what all is here for us, this was one of the highlights, was just to kind of walk through the streets and, and explore. You never know what you're going to be able to find in them. So there's our little look at Eureka Springs. There is a lot more in the area to do than we were able to show you. But I hope it gives you an idea of why it's such a neat place to visit and why so many people in Southern Missouri love to go down there for a couple days to just kind of get away from everything. It's definitely a neat place worth visiting. And hey, if you're in the Branson area, it's not that far. It's about an hour, hour and a half drive or so, depending upon which route you take. Let me know what you think. Let me know your favorite parts of Eureka Springs. I would love to hear them. Please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe already too. Thank you too so much to my patrons for making trips like this possible. This trip was completely for that. This trip was completely funded and made possible by my patrons uh, with a couple special gifts as well as their support. 
and they get all sorts of extras as well. Be sure to check the description, it'll give you a link to that, give you some information, as well as a whole lot of other information about other things like merchandise and so much more. Thank you so incredibly much for watching and for being part of my big group of viewers. I appreciate it. God bless. Thank you.